I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Congressman Pete Aguilar blasted Republicans on Tuesday in the wake of the racially motivated Buffalo mass shooting. Aguilar said during a press briefing that the racist replacement theory is, quote, animating today's Republican Party. This comes as New York Republican Elise Stefanik has been accused of echoing replacement theory verbiage in her campaign ads. Let's listen in for more. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. House Democrats uh, met this morning, and I was pleased to join the three colleagues behind me who were unified in our grief this week as we mourn the lives lost in the lives lost in Buffalo, New York. We now know that the shooter was motivated by a disgusting and debunked conspiracy theory known as the Great Replacement. The Republican Conference Chair is running ads pushing this theory. One of them read, their plan is to grant amnesty to 11 million illegal immigrants to overthrow our current electorate and create a permanent liberal majority in Washington. Not only is this kind of rhetoric false, but it's beneath the dignity of our offices and it'll result in getting people killed. But this broken ideology is animating today's Republican Party. What once would have been disqualifying is now a mainstream point of view. In fact, it's a prerequisite in many ways to hold Republican leadership. After a pandemic that laid bare the stark inequities of this country, and after four years of a president embodying our worst instincts and degrading our institutions, our country in many ways is a tinderbox, and House Republicans are holding a match. House Democrats, as I said, are united in our grief, and we're resolute in our commitment to make this country stronger and more inclusive, where we all have a chance to succeed at the American dream. A nation where we respect the rule of law, where we recognize the diversity is our strength and where truth matters. With that, I'll yield to Assistant Speaker Catherine Clark.